<laughs> so I'm here at the ID Tech Show with Len Allison from EMS. Uh, EMS won an award for best commercialization yesterday. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Can you tell us a bit about what that award was for? Sure, sure. Well, what this award was for was the uh, Mimo Baby application, which is a good example of um, wearable technology. In this case, it's a capacitive sensor. The chip and power is easily removed and reintegrated. The silver ink that's under these traces are um, setting up a capacitive field that measure motion and uh, breathing rate, heart rate, and uh, temperature. So, How many times would that be washed? Uh, the company uh, reports 90 wash and dry cycles. Right. And the part that fails is not the silver ink and that trace. It's something else right. in, in the, uh, the kimono. So right. that's a, a pretty good test. Um, but to me, what's really cool is how they integrate their chip and power. So while this is getting, while this is getting uh, recharged, the kimono, is, the kimono is being washed. Then after the kimono is washed and clean, then you have to you just easily reintegrate and start the process all over. And then the information goes by Bluetooth off to mother and father's smartphone, which might alert them to uh, unusual activity from the baby or uh, if the baby's uh, laying in the wrong position, not breathing right, if, there were, if the temperature's gone up or down. So mother and father can get uh, um, yeah. in, Great application. Yeah. So you also provide conducting, star electricing. Can you sure. talk us through some of the new products you have? Sure. Some what of the innovations what, you've been what we on? try to do is build um, <laughs> durability. So with the typical, uh, tr the traditional type of printed electronics is on polyester film like this. Right. So what we're building is our inks that will take very serious crease cycles. So if you want to crease this, you know, 10 to 15 times and it doesn't break. But we also make insulators that will protect it in very harsh environments of uh, 85 degrees C, 85 percent relative humidity, aging with a bias load. So we, we're making sure that these are very robust. Wow. In the same way, when we make, you know, surface mount components, um, what we're doing is everybody can put a chip on, but can you take that chip and severely you know, stress it and still have a good connection All right so th again this is durability we're, we're building durability which is very important nice. and then it just so happens that this durability uh, just just works pretty fantastic on stretchable film right so we got started on this on catheters and so forth and then um, a bed of a stretch are you getting there um, ours will go up to it depends on the film but this right. particular film hundred percent right and uh, I saw a couple of uh, presentations done that made our ink look really good and those weren't by us that was other people testing our material and then um, so this is TPU film but it doesn't need to be TPU normally. This is a resin-filled, a PVC resin-filled fabric, and it works quite well in this for a bed sensor application. From which application? A bed sensor. Okay, right. Right. But, so the, to, uh, but yeah. the same idea. We we want these inks to withstand severe, <laughs> severe handling, severe cycling, severe. Uh, yeah, it's got to be durable. And so this whole sort of thing just led to this application again and when these people uh, asked us for an ink and we sent it they were just so happy and I said oh that's nice but they said no you don't get it this really saved a, a big problem for us so they were very excited about the result and it's, it's it, they've been buying it ever since so great great application very nice. yeah, great. thank good. you Len so good. congratulations again good, good situation